Okay, I've just plugged in my flip camera and I'm using a Mac, so this is a little different on here than you would with the flip software that comes with it. Uh, it works a lot better. So here I'm going to go over here to the camera. I'm going to go to this file. It's called DCIM. Go to 100 video, and as you can see, I've got a lot of selections on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video 11. And I'm going to rename it to um, taking down lights to 2010. Save it, and then it changes the place on the screen. Then I'm going to move it over here to my Daddy Claxton file and I'm going to put it here in the screen and move it down to Ch -ch 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 Daddy Claxton. So it's dropped into that file and as you can see over here it's copying it. I'm going to go down here to Final Cut down at the bottom of the screen in the dock and I'm going to open this up. Okay, we're going to open up a new project. There we go. So you can see down here we have a timeline. Here's where we're going to, what it looks like. Here's where we got the pieces. And over here we have this untitled project, which we're going to name, save project as, to um, taking let's see, Christmas lights down 2010. And then we're going to save it here in Daddy Claxton. And boom, now you can see over here up on the top, the project name is, is what we just said it was. Now we can go up here to File and pull down to Import, or we can not touch the keyboard and simply go to the Apple key and the I, and that opens up a menu of things we can pull from. And then we can go down here to this file, and then there's our movie from that we just loaded from over on the flip camera and we're going to choose it and there we have it. Click on it here we can still change the name if we want or we could click it here and we can actually see the raw video and we can see where I'm starting to talk and my trusty assistant Haley started shooting so here we're going to set an input which is just setting I um, clicking, touching the I button says that's the end button as you can see, we have an endpoint here on the timeline for the scratch, and we just let it play. Hi, everybody. This is Donnie, Daddy, Daddy Claxton. Claxton. It is the 2nd of January. January. And no, no I'm, I'm not going out to clean the pool, but <laughs> we, are we are taking out our eyes like Christmas ornaments, and this is the way you do it. And what we do is we take this video, and we're going to move it down here into the timeline. And as you can see, it's 2 minutes and 40 seconds plus the time that's on the front end. So I'm going to put it in a lead here, and I'm going to move this over just a little bit more. I'm going to put it in about a 6-second six six lead for um, information on daddyclaxon.com. And then, see, if you can look at this photo, the video up here in the top right, as you can see, this is... Um, the ratio on this is not set for widescreen, which is because it's a mono flip. And so you have two options here. One is you can leave this as it is, or you can um, grab the corners here and stretch the photo, and then move it down a little bit to give some headroom. And then, of course, it it's going to change as you scrub through it. What I'm going to do here is forward that up, and you see you've got this option here if you push the page down key it will take you to all the way advanced to the the film which is a really cool tool and it gets you away from using the mouse all the time so I've got my options here um, I've got it in widescreen but as you can see I'm losing a tremendous amount of my picture here so a trick I've learned this past week is actually take that video um, leave it in that the box like that and then and adjust it for size here um, so we get the full frame in um, and then what I'm going to do is in the next step I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some blur back here um, in some slower motion to um, show the same frame but keep the same theme going 